My name is Peter Zawistowski, uh, aka Stretch, and I'm a design engineer uh, here at Yeti Cycles. So we really started working on the Switch Infinity Link about four years ago, and really we just started um, making whatever we could here in the shop. Our Switch technology has been a, an amazing platform for a trail bike, and then same with the 303 technology for our World Cup race team. And so we're trying to really blend those two technologies together to, to really achieve um, an optimized kinematics, meaning that we can get the benefits of the 303 technology and the benefits of the switch technology in one platform. It's always typically a, a battle to get the pedaling characteristics that you want, the descending characteristics that you want, as well as the correct leverage ratio. With this platform, we're really able to get exactly what we want on all three of those, which is really unique. I mean, it's also really cool in that we're able to carry that across um, travel platforms or wheel size platforms. So we really can tune to get exactly what we want regardless of wheel size or regardless of travel. This was the really one of our first prototypes that we made here in-house at Yeti. We started off with using some actual shafts from Fox dropper post. This is the, the end, the final product that we ended up with working with Fox. Um, so it's, it's actually very similar, it's just a further refined, it's just the evolution of going from something that we made here quickly in-house to test the proof of concept to what we have in production. I think the 5C is the perfect one quiver bike. It's five inches of travel, super stiff and efficient, right out of the box. Right now, the trail market is, is huge in terms of, of all the different types of riders involved. You have the cross-country rider who wants more confidence, they want to go bigger, but they don't want to sacrifice weight or climbing ability. The gravity racer wants to climb more, they're doing more enduro events, they're pedaling more, they're doing more all-day rides, but they don't want to sacrifice big hits. So designing a bike to meet in the middle with those two markets is very difficult. I believe we've done it with the 5C. When the finished product came through and I actually rode the bike, it was amazing to feel what we've been looking at on paper for so long. If you ride from Yeti to the local trailhead, it's about two miles of road. Super efficient, no movement, just a great pedaling platform. It's a very light frame and it just it rides very stiff and responsive. It's much easier to climb technical sections because it reacts to the technical sections. It doesn't bang on them because it's trying to be so stiff. It moves over the rocks and almost shoots you through these sections. It has great small bump compliance. It has great pedal efficiency. It has great square bump compliance. And you'll notice it right away when you ride it. If you're looking to get yourself into an SB5C or you have more questions, just contact the good folks at competitivecyclist.com.